Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I'm back. Yep, that's right. You'll have to excuse the distraction. My husband's using the blower right outside the window. So today is June 18th and that means day number one for the pre-op diet for the gastric sleeve surgery. I took measurements and my weight today uh, and I will get to the numbers here in just a minute, but I'm going to talk about the pre-op diet real quick. Uh, for those who don't know, the pre-op diet just is specifically to shrink the fat around the liver. So you don't want a fatty liver. So that way they can move the liver out of the way to do their procedure. So they want to make it as thin as possible. So you don't want any fatty tissue around the liver. So hence the pre-op diet. So I haven't taken any classes or I haven't, um, I'm not going through insurance. So what's happening is, is everything's all pretty much self-taught and everything has to be read um, over the internet and printed out and read and whatnot. So it's pretty much the same typical for most everybody that's on a pre-op diet. So you can use um, a protein drink in the morning, a protein drink for lunch, and a dinner like a salad with fat free. You can have chicken, fish, or eggs. Something that's low fat and fat free. Easy, easy for me. Um, you could also take one Metamucil capsule per day for hunger if you feel hungry. Right now I'm doing okay. And I'm gonna tell you that I started I actually started my pre-op diet this Sunday, this last Sunday. I wanted to start it on an even, I don't know why Sunday, because Sunday's the beginning of the week. I had to start it on the beginning of the week. That's just me. That's the way I am. So, I started it a, little, a couple of days early, and a couple of times I've eaten big dinners, and um, after cleaning myself out with the pre-op diet, I've noticed that every time I eat something like that, my stomach is in a lot of pain. So. Um, I'm just going to try to avoid the heavy duty greasy stuff um, as much as I can. I can tell when my stomach hates me for it. So it's a good thing that I'm doing this now. Um, it gives me sample salads of what I can put in my salad, what kind of dressing and whatnot on this paper that I'm reading. That alighterme.com gave me and that's who I'm going through. For I'm going to be getting my surgery with. Dr. Ortiz down in Tijuana, Mexico. Uh, and it tells me the seven days prior to surgery, we'll get that in three days prior to surgery. So when we get there, we will talk about those days. For right now, we're gonna talk about the 14 day pre-op diet surgery. What I have, um, you can either get, there's another product called the EAS Complete Protein. Those are pretty good, the chocolate and vanillas. But I'm also, um, pretty uh i think these are pretty good they're 30 grams of protein in it you're supposed to get 60 to 80 grams of protein a day to keep up with your nutrition so if i drink two of these there's 60 um grams of protein so one of these has 30 grams and this is actually pretty good the premier protein shakes are really good i love the vanilla i'm pretty partial to the vanillas um, the chocolates, I'm not a chocolate fan, so they have to be a good chocolate one, and that's what I was saying about the EAS chocolate, or I got this at an all-natural food store, which is called a, a Nutivia Hemp Protein, and it's organic superfood chocolate. There's only 5 grams of uh, fiber and 10 grams of protein, so one serving size is 3 tablespoons, and I use like a whole cup of not big cup but the little cup serving cups that they give in here um so i have a good three servings per drink so that would give me 30 grams of protein so it has fiber in it too and that's important when you have too much protein it'll constipate you so fiber is good to have in your diet too to make you more regular and natural so i got those then i got um to drink crystal light they say they want you to drink crystal light so I got the pitcher size, so I've got quite a few um, drinks. The kids are not allowed to touch it. Uh, it only has five calories um, per packet. So this is up to two gallons, not two gallons, two quarts. Um, this will fill up two quarts per thing, so I can have tons of drink out of one. 
it's really cool. No sugars, no proteins, just something to replace sugary drinks. And I actually find these pretty good. I got Concord Grape and the other one is Cherry Limeade. Um, I also got this Raspberry Ice Crystal Light as well for water bottles and I'm drinking one right now. This is the Raspberry, raspberry Ice and it's really good when it's cold. And then last but not least, I am partial to these. These are really good. Come the uh, three days prior to surgery when you're supposed to be on liquids only, I will get rid of the noodles, but right now I'm doing the noodles with it. And I don't usually like noodles anyway. I don't eat noodles, but these are small enough that I can handle them. One gram of protein in this. There's high in sodium. I'm not worried about my cholesterol. My cholesterol has always been perfect, so I'm not too worried about the sodium. Um, I will keep an eye on it just to make sure it doesn't climb up, but these are really good. It's high in sodium, but otherwise it's really good. So I'll use this for like my dinner meal or maybe I did for like lunch today and then I'll have a protein shake for dinner. I would rather eat during lunch times and not at night because then I fall asleep and I have all this food in me while I'm sleeping. Just not a good idea. Okay, so sorry about that distraction again. So this is exciting. 14 days, guys. 14 days. This time is going by fast. I, at first, I thought this time is going by really slow. It's catching up to me. Uh, it felt like the last month has been dragging because I've known about this for a whole month now. And it's been dragging. And uh, um, I'm just glad it's finally here. We're finally going to get this done. So I'm going to give you my numbers and I will write them in the description box. Let me uh, finish this part. Uh, 15 inch arms. Uh, and I'm doing measurements and poundages because sometimes when you have, uh, sometimes you have stalls while you're trying to lose weight during this surgery or after the surgery, you have stalls and you don't lose weight for like a month. Some people are like that. So I'm going to go by measurements and the way things fit as far as clothes go. So I'm doing measurements now as well. So I got 15 inch um, arms. Then I've got 47 inch around the breast, 43 around the chest, 15 around the neck, and 48 around the stomach, hips, and butt. 48. So I'm like a freaking pear. So when I got into doing this ordeal, my starting weight was 219, 220. And I've always been the yo-yo dieter, yo-yo weight loss, yo-yo everything. I mean, I've had nutritionists, I've had personal trainers, I've had diets, Weight Watchers, Slim Fast, Atkins diet I even tried. And I would lose a good eight pounds and it just would, excuse me, and it just would just stop completely stop and I would just completely stop losing weight altogether and then I would jump right back up and be in the same boat and <clears throat> I'm not necessarily always a junk food eater but it doesn't help when you're stuck in the hospital 24 7 and all you're eating is hospital food and fast food when you travel so that doesn't eat help but while I'm home I already eat healthy. I eat proteins. I eat meat and vegetables. Those are my favorite foods. I don't go and sit down and eat chocolates and ice creams and chips. Every once in a while I'll have that stuff, but it's not like I'm consuming this all the time, and I'm not. And I've been on so many diets that um, I failed every single one of them. I have not lost any weight, and having obstructive sleep apnea has caused my life to be debilitating. Not only do I have insomnia, but when I do sleep, I have obstructive sleep apnea. So I never sleep. And and so when, when it comes to exercise or even taking a walk, I'm going, I just don't, I just don't have the enthusiasm. And I don't, I mean, I do have the enthusiasm, excuse me, that's the wrong, what, wrong word what I'm saying. I do have enthusiasm up here, but not, um, my body just says no way and it, and it laughs at me and I feel so weak and tired all the time. I could barely get my house clean. So I know it has to do with um, the weight gain the last 10 years. I haven't lost any weight in 10 years and I tried for 10 years and it just bounces right back up. I mean, I even got down to back down to 199 at one time 
and within a month I was back up to 215 so it doesn't take long for me I've had blood tests and um, they have stated that they're normal which I don't believe I really don't believe I think there's something wrong with my thyroid I think that doing this surgery will be a really good thing for me I don't get my energy back the obstructive sleep apnea I hope disappears over time and that I feel more energetic and that I can get back on my feet I used to be an ice skater and I used to go to ice skating competitions and win medals I mean I used to be really healthy and I would run two miles every morning before high school and uh, I just I can't do that anymore the older you get the harder it is to lose weight so anyway um, I'm just very excited about starting this whole new thing and today is day number one so far I haven't felt that hungry since I started Sunday I, I'll get this mind thing going okay I'm really hungry what should I eat and I go roaming around in the kitchen and then I remember oh I've got to have a protein drink all right fine so I grab a protein drink and I down one. They, these kind of do have some sort of a metallic aftertaste. However, it does satisfy my craving for right now. We'll see how it goes two weeks down the road and I'm going, Ugh. Okay, back to what I was saying because I got off track. I was 220 starting weight. When I started this last Sunday, I was at 218. When I weighed myself yesterday morning, I was at 213 and I was in disbelief. And then, you know, people will go, well, why can't you just stay on this kind of diet and you'll lose weight? Well, hello, I'm getting the surgery because I fail at every diet. I couldn't do this on my own forever. Are you kidding me? That's starving yourself. Protein shakes and then a salad? No, you can't have that. You can't do that all for the rest of your life um, without with having a, as big of a stomach as I do. Anyway, I feel like I'm trying to find excuses. I'm not. Um, anyway, so it's, it's just, it's not, it's not right to do a pre-op diet for the rest of your life. It just doesn't work. It, it doesn't work out. Pe people have complained on how hungry they feel. They're starving. And um, I'm sure I'm going to get that way and I'm going to get really cranky at it. Well, anyway, I'm talking a lot. So 213, so I've lost five pounds. I am on uh, my fitness pal. Uh, email address is sleevedmel2015 at gmail.com. That's the email address I use, so you can just use that to find me. I don't know if it's by username or email address when you add people, or I, I don't know, I really don't know. I'm in a bunch of sleeved Facebook groups as well, so you might see me in there also. So that's day number one. I'm doing okay and I'm excited about this journey. My husband's in on it. He's supportive of it. Um, my kids understand what's kind of, kind of understand what's going on. So, um, yeah, that's it for today. I will come back tomorrow and see if I have any new news. Maybe a pound loss. I don't know. I don't know. For right now, I am just going to be drinking this and this and maybe sometimes this I like these um, I do not want to stay on solids too much I want to get used to getting my body used to the liquid diet for a week or so because I know I'll have to be on the liquid diet a week after so um, I'm trying to wean myself off on so much solids already I'm doing okay we'll see but it's just day number one for pre-op diets. So we'll see here in a week. See if I, I'm okay with it. Okay. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow for day number two. I hope you guys like, sub, sub, subscribe, and hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining along on this journey. And if you guys know any tags or anything, I'm willing to do. All right. We'll see you later. Ciao.